guys, welcome back to NFT Inspo. For today's video, we are going to show you how to create a website for your travel agency on Wix. But so if you're interested, let's start a tutorial. In this case, how do you create a, a travel agency on Wix? Well, in this case, it's actually pretty easy. So let's go ahead and go to Wix.com, log into your account, and from the main dashboard here, we need to create a new site. I was going to click on create a new site, it's up right. And from here, what we need to do, it's going to actually open up the uh, AI assistant here, but we want to set this up without chat. Now, from here, what we need to do is we need to indicate the plan for the website itself because this will actually affect our later on choices. So in this case, since we want to create a travel agency, let's go ahead and just enter travel agency. From here, let's go ahead and choose this one, hit on continue. Now, in this case, it's going to start preparing your dashboard. And once your dashboard is prepared, you're now ready, ready to actually uh, edit a few things here. In this case, the so first thing you want to do is you want to enter your business name here. So, for example, this is going to be my travel agency, but you can enter your business name here. And from here, let's go and click on continue. Now, we, are, we have our working hours. So, we want to include Mondays until Fridays. It's going to start around 10 a.m. to 6 p.m. Now, in this case, you can change your time if you want to. You can change the time zone itself. For now, let's go and click on continue. Have our services here. So, we have the travel agency here. So, for example, we want to include the weekend getaway and reserve your weekend and the country experience as well. Now, in this case, let's go ahead and click on continue. But if you want to edit this one, you could go ahead and click on edit and you'll be able to change the service type, the payment type here, and the location itself. But for now, let's go ahead and click on save and hit on continue. Have our staff here. So you could add, like, for example, your staff. So let's just say I'm going to add Leon here is one of my staff. And from here, let's go ahead and add another one, which is going to be uh, Anna. From here, let's go ahead and click on continue. We have useful tools here. So in this case, if you want to accept online payments, make sure to select that. And also if you want to send automated emails and SMS and sell digital products, if you want to manage your services and bookings on the go, if you want to allow those. But for now, let's go and click on continue. In this case, we're going to say, oh, you're all set. Let's go and click on continue to dashboard. Now this should actually show your dashboard here and you should be able to see and access a few things. So first is going to be your catalog. So in the catalog, you should be able to change like your booking services or so gift cards if you have those in booking channels. The booking services, this will actually contain your uh, services. So if you want to edit them, just click on edit and you should be able to change a few things about that specific service. Like for example, the name, tagline, description, the duration for it itself, as well as the session here and the per session plan. They also have the uh, price for it. They have fixed plan, free, varied prices or custom price. In this case, you could change this. Like for example, I'm going to uh, make this around thirty dollars. Just an example. Have the payment preference here, entire amount online. Also have the membership and packages if you want to edit those. Have the locations for your business and the staff that is available for your specific service. You can add the images and booking preferences if you want to as well. But once you're done, just click on save at the bottom right. From here, let's go ahead and click on save. Anyways. Now from here, what we need to do is we need to uh, basically uh, set this up. So let's go to code to set up here. And as you can see, you just need to follow the following options here. Like for example, setting up your work hours, just click on design your website, customize your email and SMS notification, even get found on Google, which is kind of advanced because in this case, you'll be setting up some Google Analytics and even um, a form of um, advertisement into your account. Now, if you want to complete one of the items here, just click on set ours or the bottom you see there. And you should, you should be able to choose the data you're available, the time. So go ahead and click on set ours and that should be complete. Design your website is going to be uh, something really important because we want to attack, attract customers into the website itself. Let's go ahead and click on design site. Now on the design site here, you have the generate design with AI and customize a template. So go ahead and click on pick a template here. And from here, we now need to choose our template. Now, in this case, as you can see, it's going to say results for a travel agency. That's why, like what I said before, uh, entering the correct options on the very first part of the website creation for Wix is really important because the option for travel agency will be applied on any items that, you, that you'll see. That's why the options that what when we were setting up our website here are appearing for the travel agency uh, code or uh, tagline here. In this case, it's going to choose one of the um, templates we could use here, but for now, let's go ahead and click on this one. Let's go ahead and click on edit. 
and from here it should give us or redirect us into the website editor now in the website editor you should be able to change a few things like the text the elements that you see here images and whatnot so the great thing about wix here is everything is drag and drop so you could even change a lot of uh, things here uh, just using the uh, ui itself so let's go and minimize this section here and uh, we want to uh, minimize the page code itself let's go and click on it have our add element section here which in this case you'll be able to add elements into your website if you want to add sections this is what you are going to click so black question uh, sections are going to be uh, sections that are black and you just need to customize them by adding like specific elements to them you also have pages here if you want to manage your pages like the uh, pages we have right now if you want to add a new item you could go ahead and do it as well if you want to add a new page you could go ahead and click on add, add page at the top right if you choose the option for your site design, you should be able to change the overall color of your website, the theme for it, the text theme, page background, page transitions, just make thing, things a lot more cohesive whenever you're viewing the website itself. We also have the option here for Wix app market if you want to add further functionalities into your website. We also have the option for my business to managing your uh, currently installed uh, applications. We have our media and uh, our CMS. Now, going back to elements, you can add your text, images, and buttons in here. And depending on what you select on your website here, like for example, you have the section here, the images. You could basically change image, edit image, even change settings on it if you want to. Same thing if you're going to add, like for example, let's go ahead and add a button here. So maybe I want to add this button here. Let's give an example. And from here, you should be able to change a few things again. Like for example, the layout, change the text and icon if you want to. Like for example, text only. Like what's going to be uh say what's going to say on this button here. Change the animation. Add links if you want to. Uh, and yeah. So creating a website on uh, Wix uh as a or for a travel agency is actually fairly easy because of how they set it up. So you just need to choose I and mean, basically indicate that you want to create a travel agency at the very very start. But yeah, so those are the things that you need to do for you to start creating a travel agency in Wix. And that's about it. So hopefully this video was able to help you. Like and subscribe to NFT Inspo. Thank you for watching.